All right, third grade, let's do our Alma Thomas project. I'm gonna use paper for this design. And as you can see, my background paper is white. And I started ahead of you because I wanted to be able to show you this whole project without taking too much time. So what I did was, so vertical, you'll remember, let me review it with you, vertical goes this way. Horizontal is this way. So let me remind you how we remember that. So vertical, the V, the letter V, starts in the, in the word vertical. The, le, the, the vertical line goes up and down, just like the V, okay? So that's why you can always remember vertical goes this way. Now, horizontal is like the H in horizontal, where it goes this way, okay? That's a really good way, that's how I remember horizontal for vertical. We're doing vertical, so we're going up and down like the V. So you can see the lines and the dots that I've started here in my, um, on my background paper. So you can add like dots and lines, thin, thick. So all of those things are things that you can add prior to working on this design, okay? Now take your time on this if you need a chance to catch up, just press pause. I'm going to add a couple more dots to mine anyways, because I think it adds so there's not so much space in between these sections. Okay, but if you need more time, press pause, okay, and get your lines done for your background. You don't need the whole thing to be lines, but you can definitely put more lines in than what I have. Now, you can see I have, I have four different sections of colors. I have paper that I made and I have construction paper that I got from scraps of construction paper. So for this design, there's certain areas that I'm gonna need smaller pieces. And what you're gonna do, kind of like what Alma Thomas did with her paintbrush, um, is fit in some of these pieces, but you're going to do it in vertical lines. Okay. Now these pieces aren't perfect squares, right? That's okay. They may overlap a little bit. And if they're too big, you can always tear some of it off. That's why paper's nice. Okay. You can have them really close together so you don't really see much white. I kind of like it when they're really close together. But I also like some areas where you can see some of the white of the paper. Okay, so that's a pretty good line to start with. Now, I'm gonna take this brown, and I'm actually gonna put this brown in one of these bigger pieces. There we go, these bigger sections. Now, you can see it's kind of like a puzzle in a way, but the pieces aren't perfect. I'm just doing it in a way that I like. I'm overlapping some. And if you're using a glue stick, totally fine. I did say that was one of the materials you needed, but it isn't a material you have to have. Now, if you're using a whiteboard, you're gonna be making these shapes and you're going to be making this, the shapes of the paper with your marker. So that's the only difference is, is that you're gonna to have to draw the shapes of each of these pieces, okay? So that's one way you can do it. So you wanna continue with this. I wanna stop and take a look. What do I need? Where do I need it? I think I need, oh, I'm gonna bring some yellow in here. That's a good idea. So I'm gonna bring some yellow right here along this blue line. And like I said, the shapes aren't gonna fit perfect and I'm okay with that. If you want more perfect shapes, all you have to do is rip them, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna come in here. I'm actually gonna do line of this purple 
right next to the yellow. Love it. Okay, so you get the idea. I would, if I was gonna continue and finish this with you, I would probably fill in all of these extra areas. So you wanna fill in, take a look at what Alma does and um, you can make variations there. Now one thing also that you could add if you wanted to would be, you could do like a row of circles. just to see what would happen. That could be something cool you could add. Maybe do another color here. So it's just a different, another variation of what Alma did, but keeping with the idea that we're working with color and we're working with order, okay? So for example, I could say this is um, a country field in fall from the sky. I mean, I don't really know. Because we're just imitating the style of Alma Thomas. So we don't really have to have a name. But if you want to, that'd be cool. So take a picture and send it to me.